Yeah, all right, welcome everybody. Today we are doing a scenic tour around Paris. Maybe a little slow flight so we can take in the scenes. But welcome to our flight. Bonjour, madame et monsieur. Bien à ce que vous nous quitterons en piste et ferons en vue panoramique de Paris. Man, it's been a while since I spoke French. But uh, let's see if we can get to the city center, do a little slow flight, and uh, have some fun. We are still climbing. I just took off. I just took off from the airport. Charles de Gaulle, or Charles, Charles, Charles de Gaulle, but um, you know, we'll be seeing the Eiffel Tower shortly in our field of view right around here, you'll see it right, here, right about here, we're turning to the south, there it is, I'm going to head straight there, alright, I'll do about Actually, I'll, I'll descend to 2,000. We'll keep the flight at about 2,000. Descend a little bit. I was going to go all the way up to 3,000, but then we wouldn't be able to see anything. Here's another airport. The airport is right behind us over there. There's another airport just in front of us. We might land back there after we're done. Alright, let's level off at 2000. I am going to try to maintain a level flight. As simple as that sounds. I think we have a little bit of a headwind. Alright, come on, you can do it. Yep. Come on. Don't mess with me. Alright. We're coming up on Paris. I'm gonna fly a little bit to the west. So we can come back around and see what's going on. Just off to our our left there. Well, this is all Paris, but the Paris that we we would be able to recognize. After I stabilize myself on this flight, we are going to come on stabilize. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me just slow it down just a little bit. Maybe 100 RPMs. All right, we're getting there. All right. So I've been to Paris once in my teens, but I, I love that the flight simulator lets you fly anywhere you want. Let's see. What we all can recognize. Figured it would be an interesting morning flight. You know? Still trying to stabilize. I got a, quite a bit of bumps going on here. Probably can't see it in the recording. Oh, yeah. But we're going to fly just to the west. Southwest of this. Uh, Eiffel Tower. I don't know if you guys can see it in the distance there. Let me see if I can move my mouse. It's right here. We are going to attempt to fly next to it. We're currently at 90 knots. I'm going to slow it down to 60 knots, which is about two notches of flaps. 
once we get around there, do a circuit around the Eiffel Tower, see what else we can see. Let's see what we can see here. Look at that detail. I don't know if it's accurate enough, but it looks awesome. Alright, get a little closer. We are getting a little low. I want to stay at um, 2,000 feet, so I'm going to increase my RPMs just a little bit. And I'm going to be referencing some things. So these are my RPMs. This is the vertical speed uh, indicator. This is my altitude, so right now I'm just below 2,000. And this is my airspeed. I'm about 90 knots. Okay. As we get closer, I have waypoints on, so it'll tell us exactly where some of the interesting things on uh, in Paris are. Okay, now that we're at 2,000, I just want to descend just a little bit. And then I will ascend at about 2200 RPMs to maintain about 85 knots. Come on, let's see up there. There we go. I'm trying to pin this needle right to 2000, but it looks like I'm descending. Not a very good job. It's hard with all this analog stuff, but we'll figure it out. We're getting pretty close to all the interesting stuff. There's the soccer cooler. It's a basilica. Um, uh, in Paris. On a hill, you have to take a tram up there. Pretty interesting. We can do a circuit around that too, but we'll see what, what, how we are doing for time. You can even see there's traffic on the roads. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I don't want to get too close to the Eiffel Tower because I want to sort of circle around it. And a shallow turn would do best for me. We should be coming up to the Champs Elysees, which is a famous. It's like um, I don't even know what it's called in LA. What is that? Um, where? Not LA. Oh, I don't know. I'm speaking out of my butt right now. It's like a, a famous shopping uh, <clears throat> district in Paris. All the designers are there. You know, sort of like the boulevard. Yeah, we're coming up to the Eiffel Tower. I wish I could just turn slightly. Let's see if I can do that. Hold on a second. Turn slightly. Turn slightly. All right. Unfortunately, the Arc de Triomphe looks like a hotel right now. That's not very accurate. Here's the Eiffel Tower. And I will. We're right at 2,000. I'm liking that. I'm going to level off a little bit. We were turning slightly to get closer to this. Oh yeah, that's not the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> so this is the Champs-Elysees, what I was talking about. There's all these high-end shops along where you can shop your heart's content. Alright, once uh, the Eiffel Tower gets off my wing there, I'm going to coordinate a turn so I can do a sort of an even an even turn around it. Looks like we're pretty much well established at 2000, so we're doing pretty well. Look at that detail. I remember walking down here. I think our, our hotel was somewhere around here somewhere. Or over here. But we had a great view of the Eiffel Tower. Alright, Eiffel Tower is right off my wingtip. I'm gonna advance it a little bit till it gets right about here and then I'll start my turn. Starting the turn. Now I gotta maintain some back pressure to maintain a good turn. A little bit more. I'm gonna try to keep it right off the wing tip there. And this is a kind of a high speed turn around the point, but we will we're maintaining altitude pretty well. 
turning. I don't want it to get too far past the back of the wing. So I'm going to keep it there. Look at that detail, people. That's awesome. Alright, I'm going to turn a little bit more. It looks like a little too steep, but I just want to maintain real estate on that wing there. Right. Looks like it's a pretty even circle. I'm trying to maintain that sight picture. Even distance around the Eiffel Tower. We'll do like a 180 turn around it because there's something... I want to go around the soccer curve because it's a, a really nice... Um, really nice basilica to look at. And I never really got to see it from the air. I was just huffing along up that hill, too exhausted to see anything. Alright, we're maintaining pretty good distance here. I'm a little close here, but I wanted to make sure that I got on a pretty good course to go around the soccer co. That's a pretty good turn around the point. I was going to do it in slow flight, but that's yeah, fine. All right, let's level off. Soccer coach should be coming up on the right hand side there, or left left hand side, maybe. Okay, we're gonna maintain level flight. Seems to be the hardest thing I need to do right now. Come on, don't go down. Look at all this. Nice. I don't know where the Louvre is. I don't know my geography of the area very well. If it wasn't for these waypoints over top of them, I wouldn't know what they were. Alright. No. I don't want to go too far below my target altitude here. I don't know where the Louvre is. It's probably behind me. I was going to do some slow flight, but this video is turning into a long one already. We had to get here. Yeah, we'll do some uh, turns around the uh, soccer cooler over here. Let's see if I can turn my head just a little bit so you guys aren't so dizzy. just a little bit. I did want to maintain 2,000, but I'm looking at scenery too much. Alright. We're going to go up a little bit. This is going to be sort of an ascending turn around the point. There it is. Just coming into view of our wing here. We're a little close, so it might be a steeper turn. I don't want to be in level flight. Alright, let's start turning. Nah. Try to maintain altitude here. A little back pressure. Alright. A little steep for my taste for a steep turn. Or, I mean, a turn around the point, but. I still want to ascend a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. People actually still go there for church. It's amazing. Let's turn a little bit more. Okay. Let's check our altitude. We're a little low. Not very good on the altitude today, guys. Not very good. Let me keep this ending. And turn around this point. Let's get that wing over top of our. There we go. A little far, but I don't like close turns around the point. I like to see them. We are going to go up. Okay. We're going to ascend. Still ascending. And level off. There we go. That's pretty nice. Now, as we get back around to our original position, we're going to go northwest to the airport. No 
almost looks exactly how I remember it. That's beautiful. We're doing well on the maintaining the altitude this time. I did want to ascend a little bit to get to my 2000. It's pinned. That's beautiful. The scenery and my 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 turnaround point. All right, we're coming back on heading. So let's try to make it back to the airport and do a little bit of a landing. Oh, hopefully a better landing than a little bit. We'll do uh, do. Let's see what's on the other side here. That's good. Okay. So we'll turn around that point. And go back to the airport. Let's go back. That's nice. Okay. Let's go straight. Let's find that airport. get too far off of altitude. With all these analog um, uh, instruments, there's no GPS, there's no, oh uh, there's, let's see if you can see it, here's the area, the runway I wanted to land on. So let's, let's start our descent. get on glide slope from here. We'll just make it a long final for the interest of time. We'll keep going down. 1700 RPMs. I'm gonna level off a little bit and lead off that speed to get the first notch of flaps in. First notch of flaps coming in. I can put the first notch of flaps in as soon as the needle hits this white arc. Alright. So the first notch of flaps is in. Let's see if it's indicating. Indicating. Good. Well, it's indicating and verified, I should say. Let's get a little bit. We're a little high. That's okay. We're good. We're going to keep it a little fast. We're a little far. The idea speed is about 60 knots. To get on the course here. Line up the center of my dashboard with the center of the runway see how we do. Seems like there's a little bit of a crosswind. I'm going to lean into it a little bit, a little bit of left rudder. Okay, I'm going to put that second notch of flaps in now. Then trim for the right glide slope. We can go down a little lower too. I want to maintain 60 knots as soon as we're above these buildings with the red we're a little high, but this is a long runway, so we have plenty of real estate to work with. No sense in rushing in. The port of the point of an airplane is to stay aloft, to fly. It wants to fly, and I'm gonna keep this second notch of flaps. This feels like a good speed right now because the runway is so huge. Just going to fly it all the way down to a runway. All right, I got 70 knots. We're looking good. I think runway altitude. All right, third notch of flaps. The airplane just told me what I wanted to do. Putting it down. Airspeed is looking good. We're getting down to 60. Verified. Flaps are down. Let's uh, let's just fly down the runway. Got a little bit more speed. It's coming a little low. All right. All right. Let's try to maintain that center line. Let's 
fine. I'm going to kind of level up to it. And then come into the right. I'm on glide slope. I got two white lights and two reds. If you can see it by those big marks up there, I'm getting a little low. That's fine with me. I like a little bit lower of an approach. Alright. We have the runway made, so I'm going back to idle. I'm going to drop like a rock, but I'm going to counter that. Get a little bit more. Okay. Right on the center line there. Right on the center line. Okay. We're good. You're good. I to the back of the runway. Power to idle. Good. That was... It's actually harder to land on a larger runway. So let's go to the first turnoff. Gonna carry a little bit of speed. Where's our turnoff? See how, see how huge this is? Alright, here's our turnoff. We're going to turn to the right. This is huge. All right. A little bit of density out too. Look at all that RPM I have to put in just to maintain. Nice. Momentum here. Alright, we're turning. And power to idle. As soon as we go up the runway, I'll shut it down. I want to thank you for joining me. That was awesome. Alright, good. We're clear enough. It's a simulator. Hey, thanks for joining me. Okay. Let's shut her down. All the switches. Magneto's off. Mixture to idle. Alright. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Paris.